Hey, Creative Mom Kamala here, and it's time to replace our home sign. So UV resin and acrylic blank, let's get started. So this month we are doing a shamrock for March, or for the start of March. March is also my birthday month, so super fun. And I am using um, Blackberry Bliss from Craft Chameleon and Dragon of Pearls, and I'll have to tell you where it's from, a friend of, in the description below, a friend of mine sent me a sample of it. And I know it's expensive glitter, but man, it's really pretty. So we'll see if I, uh, what I think of it, um, and I'll let you know. And then I also, I'm kind of hooked on using um, gold leafing, and so I have my gold leafing out. And of course I have my UV resin, a mixing cup, a mixing brush, and my spreading brush. I'm using Craft Chameleon's UV resin. I also got this blank as part of a home sign kit from Craft Chameleon. You can get the blanks, you can also get a sign for them, but I, um, my husband helped me get my board and then I painted my white letters on my board for mine. So I have just removed the paper backing from, it's actually plastic, sometimes it's paper, um, from one side and I'm going to mix up my glitters here. So I am going to use mostly this new glitter, but I wanted it to have a little purple. I noticed that I got, I hope that made a really pretty picture because I just fling glitter everywhere, but I got a little piece of a, there it is, another piece of glitter in here, so I'm going to get that out. And now I'm going to put some of this in this cup. And I do, I want it to be strong with this, and I'm going to go for a, a I'm going to start with probably a pinch, maybe two pinches of my blueberry, blackberry bliss. Now I'm getting confused. Blackberry jam. See, I'm glad I said that. It's blackberry jam from Craft Chameleon. And I'm going to stir those in. I really did want it to mostly be green, but I thought with Mardi Gras this month, a little splash of purple in there would be pretty, and it is. So that is super fun. I think I could almost, this is the moment of does it have purple? And so it's a mystery, or you could add a little more, and then, you know, it's, yes, it has purple. So, you know, mixing these colors are totally up to you. And I do it lots of times by adding a little bit at a time and just playing. And I like this. This is super, super sparkly and pretty. So that's going to be really fun. So let's add UV resin to it. And then we just want to stir this in. And I'm going to start applying it. And the first thing I'm going to do is just spread an even layer of this resin and glitter mixture. All right, so that is all spread out in one even layer. And now we're gonna grab the gold leafing. So I'm gonna grab a pile over here. And I am using a really fine tip pointed tweezer for this. And I have not cured the resin yet. So what we're looking for is sheets of this. And I want to just place it on the edges and that's all I'm going to do is find single sheets, which is kind of hard, but it is possible, and place them just on the edge.
as I get down here to the stem, I'm going to cover it completely. And that's just a personal choice there. And we'll see if what I envisioned that looking like, it looks like. But I do want to cover all the way to the bottom of that stem completely with the gold leaf ink. And once my edges are covered how I want them, I can actually put this underneath the UV light. Remember you want to place any resins out of the way so that they don't get um, hardened by the UV light because UV resin will last as long as it does not see um, sunlight or you know UV lights. All right, I'm gonna slide this underneath here and let it go for 99 seconds. I'll see you in a second. So after one set of 99 seconds, we need to do a check. I'm sure the center is going to be good. The outside edges is where I want to be careful because you cannot cover UV resin completely and expect it to cure easily. Go under for a 90, another 99 seconds and then I'm going to show you how we clean up the edges. All right, so. I'm going to grab a nail file. That's how we're gonna clean up these edges. So you can also use your fingers, but a nail file actually works really well. I just go in one motion, use a cheapy nail file. It does, or one that's almost, um, you know, out, um, because it will, it, it gets messy um, with the resin and things like that. But the nail file is my favorite way because you can actually send it all the way in so that the shape, this acrylic blank, will pop and it will come out. You can also grab another flake of your leafing if you need to fix that patch. I can't get one flake, my fingers are getting sticky. But like this one side that had a weird, you can get a piece and stick it on there and just kind of work it. So I think we're going to add another, no, I, I think I'm good. I was thinking about making the stem, but I kind of like it textured. All right, so let's go ahead and get this all finished. So I am going to use my already mixed up same green to just clean a little bit of these edges from the inside up. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that and all I'm doing is putting a hunk then where I want it and then pulling it towards the middle. So I dip on my brush and pull towards the middle. I got a little extra, so I'm gonna go that way this time. And I definitely wanna keep these nice points. So I'm gonna do that all the way around and I really just want this to be as thin as a, the coat of glitter so that we can cover the top smoothly in just a minute. Need a resin pro tip? Place your brush under your UV light so that you can remove the resin very easily and be ready to go with your top coat. And now we are ready to put the top coat on. I am super excited to finish this project up. This glitter combination is gorgeous and I'm hooked on the look of gold leafing. I love, love the look of gold leafing. To do my top coat, I'm going to put a good amount in the center and then I'm going to very carefully spread it to the edge just like we did the green coat. So we are all done here. I'm so excited to pull this out. Let's see. I stuck just a little bit to the bottom. Um, I do see one major problem. I filled the hole. So that diamond reamer tool that I was talking about earlier works great for this. I'm gonna do, luckily I'm only going to hang this one, so it will be just fine. And I got it poked through. You could poke it through more 
with a um, drill. My husband has drilled through when I filled them completely because yes, I do that. All right, let's show you the back. Remove the backing. Sometimes the back, back is prettier than the front. This one I think it is pretty, but I definitely am going for the amazing gold tipped shamrock that I got here. Let's hang it up. One last look at my heart right before I hang up the awesome shamrock we did today. I'm a big fan. I think it's super cute and it's gonna look absolutely adorable. Let's see, yay! Thanks so much for watching. Have a joyful day, friends. Bye!